We got a new map mod here. Some of you OGs who remember it, well, videos I made back in the Battles days may remember this map. It's called Labyrinth, and I'd like to thank uh, the Knee for creating this custom map. Apparently there's a map editor mod now, so basically a lot of mod creators can do any map of their choosing. And the Knee has created this one for me, which is pretty awesome, because if you don't know, it's the longest map ever. Well, at least it would be if it was in this game. Way longer than logs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it in BTD6 for the first time. Basically, it's a maze, and there's very few spots where you can place towers, just in the little green areas here. Also, I'm playing on, um, what do you call it, half-cast chimps, because, well, the map is long enough that I can probably get away with it. First off, how do I start? It's probably gotta be a dart monkey. It'd be nice to start with a sniper on this map, but I, well, yeah, the money's not there. Unless I uh, manually give myself more money. Just gotta hope this is good enough. Although, probably not. I need to buy quick shots. We'll buy quick shots. Or maybe I shouldn't have, because that was pretty easy. If we can make it a sniper, then we're good. Aw, oh, crap, we leaked a red balloon. Well, that sucks. Guess I'm gonna have to drop another Dark Monkey then. That's why I brought Churchill also, because he's gonna be the strongest hero, obviously. It obviously will take a while to get him, because it's basically $4,000. It gets half cash mode. But it'll be worth it, because he'll get level 20 at a good time. So yeah, basically, they kind of run around the board, the boundary, once they get to the the red part here. You can kind of see them, kind of see that blue balloon going through the top side. Oh crap, regrows. Okay, I think this is going to be a problem. Maybe I'll try putting Sniper on first. Snipe down the yellows. Actually, what I should do, put it on last. That'll guarantee we kill uh, one regrow yellow at a time, right? I think that'll make it. Yeah, I wonder how long this map would is compared to logs. Not sure what I want to get next, maybe uh, Churchill. There also is no line of sight on this map, so I can put towers on the right side and see over this uh, imaginary black wall right here. I wonder if we can just get straight to Churchill with this. We're halfway there right now, but I mean, we are getting to uh, tough rounds here. I think this guy will have to be a crossbow master, as much as that sucks. Like, even if I, if I even want to upgrade it, that is... I'll just buy camo on it for now. There's no way to survive this, right? We have no group bomb power against so many group balloons here. No, no, I can't survive this. Okay. So close to Churchill, but I think we're gonna need to drop a little bit more. Is that right? Yep. You know, a mad wouldn't be bad. I can't place a darling gun. I can, I can. But maybe I want to put it in another box so that I can, like, put a buff on it, you know? Like, we can turn this darling gun into a mad late game. If, again, the money's there, because it is half cash. But Darling Gun won't be bad for early game. We're gonna need something for Regros, because... We can't beat two Regro Zebras. Alright, fine, Crossbow. Crossbow it is. Cheap, and should do the job. Nice. Alright, and now we can get Churchill. Now, where do I want to place him? I'm thinking maybe here. Just so we can get the, well... Exit. Nope. Doesn't look like a place of village here, sadly. But you do see, an alpha buff is available. I generally wonder how much money I can save up with just this defense. Because I feel like it can be anything. Except for, well, at the moment, camos. I'm going to have to buy one camo upgrade on the Darling Gun. Also, I do have the end round set at 2 2, two. I don't think I'm actually going to go with that, that late in. I don't plan to spend uh, two hours getting there. I think I meant to set the end round to uh, 140, so... We're going to try to beat the Fortified Bad on 140. Do you think I should just go straight for Mad right now? Like, just go for Rocket Storm? Because if I got a Darling Gun, then I might as well, uh, like, commit, right? How about we'll start with a Hydra Rocket? Honestly, this should hold up to, like, mid-70s. Basically, any rear round is a problem. Because we may not have enough DPS. So, 76, I'm thinking. Right now, it's not even really close. I can just leave my uh, Darling here and... Nothing is even getting close to halfway. Oh, maybe I should go with Rocket Storm just to beat 76. That is true. I guess I will. See this part nice and easy. So, uh, unload everything. Churchill ability, Rocket Storm. Can we do enough damage from this far away? Or maybe I gotta buy Pierce on my Darling. Yeah, yeah. That's a real farm, alright. 
So, 042, and let's try again. Is it still too far away? I feel like the clump is a lot tinier. Yeah, we got it, we got it, nice. I bet this can survive quite a while from this point on, because there's no Rigo round to worry about, really. And as you see right here, I can just fast forward, not even move the darling gun, and still be fine. Okay, I should probably think about my next tower, because there's no way in hell again. I'm saving up another 30k. I think we need some super ceramic defense. Because, yeah, Fortifieds are just wrecking us right now. Okay, there's maybe a shot. Probably not. But we feel so close to getting the mad now. Oh, okay, we almost get this too. Level 15, all attacks do extra damage against Fortifieds. I think that's going to be pretty handy. Maybe we just rely on Churchill then for uh, super ceramic defense. 95 is going to be interesting. I know level level 10 won't be able to kill all DTs. So that could be a, a tough spot for me. So uh, let's use level 3 early. I will use level 3 now on strong because I want to kill DTs. The uh, super ceramics I can just deal with afterwards. It's going to be a close, a close finish. I can get level 3 very soon, which will save me. And I do have it. Nice. No, I'm dead to the DTs. Okay, I think I want to try an out buff. Just because it's uh, it's cheap. Alright, tier 4. It's going to set me back from this mad to like past one, around 100, but it is what it is. So we'll use level 10 now. We'll use level 3 early. I didn't mean to use Rocket Storm, but it's fine. Cooldown is short anyways, right? Alright, so far, definitely beating DTs a lot earlier than usual. Rocket Storm here, level 3. Put on first. For the innards. Okay, that's extremely close. We got this for sure. Alright, Rocket Storm. I'll use level 3 Churchill. It's all about that last ET. I'm gonna focus that, and there we go. I think we can beat that. And we did. So again, a little setback with the out buff, but I'm sure it'll go a long way. So everyone's questioning about whether or not this can be 98. Well, let's see here. I think because the map is so long, we should just use the ability immediately when it's up. Because by the time balloons are at the exit, it should probably be up again. So we'll have it anyways. Yeah, this round is no problem. Because mobs are slow, DTs are fast. Go figure. I'm just going to save level 10 for 99. And yeah. This was a pretty easy round. I think 102 is ridiculous. It has a lot of DT, so if I don't get mad by that round, I am screwed. Again, we are only like 2.5k away, so it's doable. It's affordable, alright? I'm, I'm trying to save level 10 ability for DTs, in case you're wondering. Like this. So that we can beat them, of course. And hopefully we can beat the ZMGs. I'm actually getting pretty far. Not as easy as I thought. Alright, so level 3 Churchill, and uh, that's all we need. Nice. We're so close. After this, we are still $200 short. Okay, this doesn't bode well because, again... Oh crap, there's non-stop DTs. And I might just be $100 short. So, like, the difference of one Dart Monkey. Seriously. I'm actually going to die this round by $200, and I don't know how to feel about that. Um, I can't get mad. If I buy a main mob or something, then I can't get it for another 10 rounds, and I don't think I can survive 10 rounds. Wow. Alright. Well, what's her plan B then? Do you think I could try to beat a ZMG for $200? No, right? How do I even focus that DD? Even. Or that ZMG? Nah, I make, I make zero money. That's not gonna work. This works on DTs now, guys. Let me, let me verify. 003 Mortar. Big waste of a placement, but let's try. More blue, uh... Signal Flare. Yes, they do get decamo, and I see the difference. I see the difference. That's cool. So let's use level 10 now. Low-key, this looks doable. Oh yeah, this is... Almost doable. Okay, this run by far looks the closest. There is only three, two fortified DTs left. Please tell me you got this. 
ability. Aw, oh, man. You're breaking my heart. Again, keep in mind, I don't have to get a mad. I could just submit to like, getting a Sky Shredder, but would that even be good? Oh, this is a good run. There's only one left. I don't know what I did. But, this looks good. It's literally just one Fortified DT. Ah, oh, crap. We're gonna die to this, aren't we? We glued it, at least. Innards? Nice. Wow. Okay. Well, we beat that, but it's not it's not over yet, guys. Because I need to still survive seven more rounds to get a mad. So this round's more DDTs. Um, let's see what I want to do. I'm going to use my level 10 now. Clear out a good chunk of them. Is my glue even working? It is, but it's just too many. Oh, God. This has to work, otherwise I'm dead. What a waste, guys. We try it. We spend so much time just saving for mad, buying other towers to make it. This round looks close, but I think it's harder than 102, frankly. I think I'm just going to go for a Sky Shorter now. We're giving up on mad. I'm also going to try the new center path, because uh, we already have decamo with the mortar. So I'd like to put it in a nice place, so... You know, focus the left side. This should now allow us to be at the, uh, well, 100 and 110. I just don't know if we can get to 140, which is kind of my original goal. But regardless, yeah, it is what it is. We'll just hope it's enough. I don't know what I want to get at this point, if we're being honest. Like, can I get another strong tower alongside, uh, Churchill and Sky Shredder? Maybe, but I don't think I can afford a... A whole lot. I'm gonna save money for 119 though, just in case I, uh, well, don't have enough bad damage. Although I feel like we do have enough with Churchill and uh, Sky Shredder. Alrighty, so this is the round I'm curious to know whether or not we can beat three very strong bads. Money for Elim is not there, but I can at least get an Assassin if uh, it's close to working. I think we'll make it. Yeah, we beat one of the, ma the bads. This map is long enough that. Yeah, not a problem, not a problem. I'm expecting this to start failing in the 130s. Maybe 138 is a tough round if I can't get something good by then. I like how the entire screen, the left side of the screen, just, is just covered in black now. Now, can we beat this? Please? Pretty please? Yes, yes you can. As long as we're not fortified, we are good. So, as I said, this round was absolutely a nightmare. Let's see if that is true. Indeed, it is true. Indeed. Maybe a Sabo? So if I get a Sabo now, I can still get an Elim. I can still afford an Elim afterwards. Should buy us a little bit of time. I also didn't move my Ace. That's my bad. Alright, so back at first for Churchill. There's only four DDTs left. Three, two, one, zero. Okay. Sabo coming in clutch. Almost died also to a red. So, fortified DTs everywhere. Let me use Sabo now. There's not too many this round, right? If we beat this, then it's just 138 we gotta get through. 138, guys. 138. I am probably gonna die to a stray balloon. Calling it right now. Calling it now. Wow, I didn't die yet. Now I'm dead. I think I can probably afford to get an Alpha Buff on... Oh, I can't even Alpha Buff this. Uh-oh. Well, that changes everything. Should I just try Elim now? You know what? Let's just buy it. See what happens. It'll kill these faster. If I die at 138, so be it. Is what it is. Again, the game would have been a lot different. Different if I just had 200 extra dollars. Yeah, and that's why I, I always say every bit, every dollar matters. Because it does. It seriously does in chimps. I think I'm dead here. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, we'll just do this one more thing. Ground zero. So, no more Elim. If we die to 140, uh, it is what it is. Yeah, it's pretty much game over here without an MAD. Even a GZ doesn't do anything, really. So, I think we're just gonna call it here. 138. But, nonetheless, fun map mod. I would certainly like to do more of these in the future. So, stay tuned.